All right, welcome everybody. I am excited to share this ditch and switch um, version of um, starter kit class with you all tonight. And I am here with Hillary Smith and she'll be popping in to introduce herself in just a second. Um, but my name is Susan Hyde and I am so excited to talk about ditching and switching because when I first started using essential oils, um, I came to the oils for emotional support. So it did not even occur to me at all that there were gonna be so many other benefits of using oils in my home that in fact would help create a healthier environment, not only for myself, but for my entire family. And then even save us money. I know that's like backwards thinking when you think like, oh, you're gonna have to spend more money to get the best you know, products and things, and that's not necessarily the case. And we love DIYs and hacking things so that we can do get the best for our family without breaking the bank. And I know that Hillary is phenomenal at this too. So she's going to be able to share just the, the experiences that she's had as well. So, um, so a little bit um, about me. I've been um, using Young Living for seven and a half years. I am, I'm a mom, I have uh, four kids, I'm married, and my youngest is 10. So he's actually been the one that's gotten the most use of all of the oils and all of the things because all my other kids are kind of had flown the coop before I really dove deep, but they are also um, oily and so that is kind of fun. So, um, and it, it's it's really interesting and, and fun when you're, kids because I I mean it took me till I was like 45 to realize the things that I was using were not maybe the best options for me so I'm just excited for my kids to you know have started that much earlier in their lifetime and that change that they can make for themselves as well so anyway so one of the things that is tip top that I like to share um, especially um, with moms is that you really are the gatekeeper of your home. You um, likely, you either create the grocery list or, you know, maybe you are, you know, fortunate and you have somebody that goes and does your shopping for you. That's me. Um, my hubby loves to do that. Um, or maybe you get grocery delivery, whatever. But ultimately it's usually um, it falls on the shoulders of the homemaker who is the gatekeeper. And so you have the ability to make a lot of really good choices or you can make some not so good choices. But the thing is, is that we all start somewhere, right? We all start somewhere. We learn um, a little bit more each day and we learn to make better choices. So one of the reasons that I'm so passionate about using ingredient savvy products and why I'm sticking with a company that has high standards is because I care about my family. I care about giving us the best. I want us to live a healthy life. I don't want us to be you know, running off to the doctors all the time because the, some of the things that we could be using could actually be harming us. So it's interesting because the average modern day household uses hundreds, you guys, yes, hundreds of toxic chemicals every single day. A large percentage of, of them are used before you even walk out the door. So if you think about all the things that you do in the morning, showering, ladies putting on the makeup, things in our hair, all of the things, that's where it adds up. And I was not a label reader, and now I'm a huge label reader. So if that's one of the first steps that you do is just to be aware and begin reading labels, that's a great place to do. So those chemicals are hidden in all kinds of things. So I'm gonna share, we've got cleaners, laundry products, shampoo, conditioner, air fresheners. How ironic is that, right? We think we're freshening the air, but it's actually filled with chemicals. So we're gonna to touch on that. Body wash, facial cleansers, hand soaps, moisturizers, all of the things. All of those things us women want to use for beauty, right? <laughs> so many hidden toxic ingredients and most of them most of them are things that we use every single day. So then you get 
what we call bioaccumulation. So it's like when you continually use a product that your body isn't quite sure what to do with, it builds up in your body and it can't expel it out fast enough. And so it can cause havoc on your body. Um, and with, with issues like asthma, um, depression, anxiety, all kinds of things that really can um, come about from just that bioaccumulation and using products that aren't um, natural products that, that our body is wanting to see, you know, come into their body, into itself. So um, new evidence directly connects our daily toxin exposure and, and common household products to so many health concerns, um, some that I just mentioned. So, and did you know this? There are hundreds of known toxic carcinogenic chemicals that are legal to put in cleaners in the U.S., but they are illegal in other countries. This is not okay. This is why we as the gatekeeper really need to be aware of what is going on. And that is my commitment to my family, that I am a label reader now and I want to know. So Young Living is one of the, the premier places that I love. It's a one-stop shop. And that is what it saves us time it saves us energy and all of that i know i can trust that young living has done the research that they are going to provide the best thing um, as far as an ingredient in a product and that i can trust them so that has been wonderful to have high quality long lasting many of our uh, products are concentrated so not only is it long lasting but it's less waste because you're not having to use so many containers right and so during um, the last seven years, we've made a lot of different swaps on products that I used to buy at other stores. And now it just comes in my box from Young Living and I love it because it comes right to my porch. So, so it definitely gives peace of mind. So if you think about, you know, if you're kind of like there, sitting there and thinking like, oh my gosh, and you start looking at all the labels in your house and it starts to get really overwhelming, just slow down because we gotcha. <laughs> and we don't want you to be overwhelmed because it can, it can become really daunting to think of like, oh my gosh, I need to, you know, redo my makeup counter or I need to redo my, you know, shampoo and what about the dish soap and all of these things. But here's the thing, we're going to kind of touch on some really simple things that you can do um, to make a switch. And first of all, you're going to want to identify. So you'll identify the harmful, harmful products that you are using in your home um, and then be familiar with common red flag ingredients. And so we're gonna talk about a couple of those tonight. Um, and then you can just, <coughs> so, excuse me, slowly replace those items with um, safer and effective alternatives from, from Young Living. <coughs> Sorry. It's getting a little warm in my <coughs> office here. And then Step three is just taking advantage of um, your Young Living membership. <clears throat> and <coughs> boy, I might have to hand it off to you, Hillary. <laughs> um, so that you can, oh my word. <clears throat> okay, I needed a cough drop, it's over there. So I'll have to run and get one. Um, anyway, this is why it's important to be an informed consumer, right? You want to know what's in your product so you can make the best decisions. So. <clears throat> this quote that Gary Young, who's a found, our founder of Young Living said, is, is I don't make a product for profit, I make them for a purpose. And that is really the, the gold of what Young Living stands for. So, all right, I'm gonna turn it over to you, Hillary, and I'm gonna grab a cough drop and here we go. <laughs> so, um, so I am Hillary Smith. And I have been with Young Living for almost four years, not quite, but almost four years. And I am married and I have six kiddos. So I have uh, two that have flown the coop. I have an older daughter and then we have three little ones at home. So when I first started with oils, it was really because I was looking to support my kiddos' health and immune systems. Um, we were just in this constant perpetual cycle of being unwell and I was exhausted and worn out as a mom. And I was just looking for more natural alternatives to support our bodies and kind of get out of that cycle. Um, but kind of like what Susan was sharing, I quickly realized that oils were so much more than just immune support. Um, and I realized that it was just, um, 
not only my family was needing like total body support, but we really were needing to like kind of overhaul our home and what we were using on a daily basis. Uh, there was a reason we were constantly getting sick and experiencing headaches. Um, I was really struggling with hormone issues at that time and just some postpartum depression. And so I was really needing some major emotional support. And so I loved that as we sort of dug deeper into oils and all the ways that Young Living could help us, we were um, checking off all those boxes. Um, so I started really digging into what we were using on a daily basis and just how they were affecting our overall health, how it was affecting my hormones, how it was affecting um, just my emotions. And I was really shocked because I had kind of started trying to ditch and switch. And so when I was at Target or at whatever store, I was trying to grab things that I thought were more natural, that were going to have better ingredients. And it was really frustrating because as I started researching more, I started learning about, you know, greenwashing and how a lot of times labels can be very deceiving and they can put um, fragrance or put natural, um, natural on a label, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's natural. Um, and it's crazy that there are so many cleaners out there that actually say that you should not use this on your skin or around your kids. Like it literally says that on the label. Um, and then when I first started with Young Living, I, I'd actually already purchased oils. I'd heard about their benefits. I was like, okay, you know, this is a more natural approach. And I ordered a bunch from Amazon and I went and got some from just wherever, but I wasn't seeing the benefits uh, that I was, you know, seeing my friends sharing. And so I started looking into oils more as well and just realizing that a lot of their labels could be very deceiving and that I wasn't actually getting what the label was saying in that bottle. Um, even like our baby wipes, our personal care products, um, just even things that I was using on my kids had ingredients that actually weren't that great for their bodies. Um, and like what Susan mentioned about bioaccumulation, it's not that one product. It's not that one time that you use something. It's that daily exposure, the day in and day out, the accumulation of all those products together. And it really does build up in our system and it can cause this host of issues. Um, I remember reading, uh, you know, thinking like, you know, about our skin and the things that we come in contact with every day. And we think of our skin as like this great giant barrier for our bodies, but it's actually our largest organ and it's a great carrier and it transports all those things that we come in contact with to some of our very delicate organs. Um, so it really made me start thinking about what we were putting on our bodies every day. And I was the mom that was like, buying all the organics and worried about like the food we were eating. But then, you know, I would just buy any old cleaner or any old product and I wasn't even really thinking about what we were putting on our skin. I was just thinking about what we were putting in our bodies. So the thing that really drew me to Young Living when I was researching was just their seed to seal guarantee. I really loved that they go beyond organic. I know sometimes we think of organic as like the end all be all, but sometimes it's really just a label and you really have to look into a company and see what is their processes, what is their procedures. And I just really loved that they went beyond organic. I think organic for growing things, they test their soil back like five years. And I think for Young Living, it's like 20 to 30 before they will even plant a seed into the ground. So that seed to seal, is Young Living's promise to us that from the time something is grown to the time it's harvested and put into a bottle, that they are overseeing that whole process and that we know when we get something from them, we can fully trust it and we don't have to go and like look for all the secret hidden ingredients. So I really loved that um, what I was bringing into my home I knew was safe for my family. And kind of like what Susan was saying, I just, I really, wanted to support our our bodies and just um, really be the gatekeeper of my home and know what was coming into my home. So Susan is going to share more about some of the big offenders in our home and those things that I was like tossing and switching out when I started researching more. 
<laughs> well, you at least were, you know, you made the move and that's, that's what's important and I did too. So, okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is probably one of the most favorite products that Young Living has once people get started is this Thieves Cleaner, okay? Before I tell you a little bit more about this, cause you're gonna wanna know, I, I'll just share with you that cleaners are actually one of the worst offenders when it comes to household toxins. Chemicals in conventional cleaners have been linked to eye and skin irritation. I'm sure you guys can already say I know that because I was cleaning with all the things and I had to get out of the shower and go in another room to take a breath of fresh air because you were like fogging yourself out, right? That was me. Um, dizziness, headaches, respiratory disorder, and even cancer. And there is a study that released um, this that said stay at home moms are three times greater risk of getting cancer. And I think it's because we are constantly doing all of these jobs with all of these cleaners and it really takes the toll with that bioaccumulation, what we were talking about. Hillary already touched on greenwashing. And so I think that is a huge topic we could go on and on about, but just keep in mind that some of these keywords that are on cleaners that you might see at the store, those are kind of faux like catchy words that really mean nothing. So I'm gonna tell you this, there's no regulation for the word natural, okay? So keep that in mind when you're reading labels or you're looking at the pretty front of a package um, and they have this word natural, like we wanna think that it means a certain thing, but there's no regulation for that. So um, it just, it can mean that some of the products ingredients come up from a natural source, but manufacturers aren't required to, to disclose how much or how little of those ingredients are present. The term natural can mislead consumers into thinking a product is safer or more environmentally friendly than it actually is. So that's where learning to read your labels and looking for these big long words that you can't pronounce, those are your indications. So this is why I love Young Living because like I said before, I can really trust that what they're gonna put in a product is gonna be something that I know is truly plant-based. So, um, so this is where Thieves Cleaner pops in. So Thieves Cleaner um, is the epic mom cleaner for sure. So what makes this so amazing is that yes, it's natural and I'm gonna use that word because I'm gonna back it up with saying that it's all plant-based, okay? So it's made from essential oils and they are very effective essential oils, the combination that is put together for the Thieves blend. That you can make a cleaner. Here is my cleaner that I have. This is a concentrate. So um, this just happens to be an empty bottle that I have reused. So you just put an ounce of cleaner and you fill it up with um, purified water. And you have a spray top that you get. From, you can use any bottle. It doesn't have to be an old thieves one. You can use an old cleaner bottle. We've had some fun promos with glass bottles. Whatever you have, you can make the cleaner with. So. And that's one of the best things is it tells you right on the back here some dilution ratios. So you get to decide how concentrated you're going to make your own cleaner. So for like mirrors and windows, I don't have to have it as um, as concentrated as I do when I'm got one mixed up to do like heavy degreasing or maybe, you know, doing my floors or wiping the counters. So that is the beauty. So I have a couple different ones of these around my house and one is marked for glass or mirrors. And so I don't have to use as much, but it works out to be less than a dollar for one of these bottles when you mix it up. So it is by far the most economical way um, to clean and it smells like Christmas. It smells so good. So I love when people come into my house after I've cleaned and they're like wondering, did I make cookies? They're like looking around for something because it smells good. So people are not gonna be like hacking, thinking like something really <laughs> like gasping for air. So, um, and when you are a Young Living member and you can grab this cleaner on um, your Essential Rewards order, then you can save up to 25% back on that too. So not only are you getting a good deal originally, but you can even kind of stack those savings. So <clears throat> I love it. 
So another one that I love for cleaning because there is a well-known, um, uh, I think it's called Goof Off. I haven't had to buy it in so many years, but Goof Off, we use Goof Off for like getting the residue off of sticky frames or like little stickers that are on um, the edge of thing, or if you have gum on your floor, all of that. Well, that stuff really is smelly, right? But one of the things that you want to want to have in your back pocket is lemon oil. It works so effectively for all of the sticky little things that you're going to find in life. And it smells wonderful. So you don't have to worry about it, you know, causing other fumes in your home in order to get um, rid of a little, a little, uh, you know, bit of sticky residue. So I love that one. So, um, and you can use lemon um, vitality in your water. And so it's really good for your body too. So I love that. So, so Hillary is going to chat about candles because we are coming up on the fall season and I used to be the Yankee candle addict. So this is a big topic. So um, I know there's other people like me. You know, I just have to share really quickly about the Thieves Cleaner because I always hated that my hands or like just, you know, that smell that you would get. Um, I loved that my hands smelled really good after cleaning. Like I could not stop smelling my hands because I was like, oh my gosh, they don't smell like bleach or whatever those harsh chemicals that I was using before. And they just smelled so clean and I could not stop smelling my countertops. They smelled so good. And it definitely smells like Christmas. So candles, I was the candle queen. Like I would line up for the buy one, get one. And I had all the candles, the pumpkin spice, everything. And I was like, okay, I'm making my home smell really good. You know, I have kids, they sometimes don't always smell that great. <laughs> and, or I cook something and I would burn a candle, right? Um, but candles are actually one of the bigger offenders in our homes. So they actually contain uh, VOCs, volatile organic compounds and particulate, ma particulate matter that is released into the air when we burn these candles. Uh, and this has been linked to many respiratory problems, including lung and heart conditions. It's been identified as a primary source of pollution indoors. So we were talking about how we've been spending, you know, more time indoors, but sometimes our indoors can be more toxic than outdoors. We're breathing all these things that we're putting into the air every single day. And it can be worse than like secondhand smoke. Um, so they're finding that uh, the indoor air is usually two to five times higher than outside of the home of these um, toxic chemicals that are in the air. And that's just crazy because you think our home should be this like safe place where everything we're breathing and, you know, coming in contact with is safe for our family and our kids. Um, and I know guys, I totally get it. Like these candles are so tempting. They have these lovely scents and these lovely names. Um, but once I switched candles and fragrances and those air fresheners from my home, um, I never looked back. I noticed I wasn't getting headaches as often and my home just actually smelled fresher and cleaner than the candles were helping. Like they the candles kind of just covered everything up, but I felt like the diffuser and the oils really actually made my home feel much cleaner. Um, and I find that the more I've eliminated fragrances and things from my home, I'm more in tune with uh, when I do come in contact with fragrances or toxins. Um, our sense of smell is directly linked to our limbic system. And our lim limbic system is kind of how we um, manage our emotions and stress. So you would think, you know, any smell should help that, right? So why is diffusing essential oils better than just burning some great smelling candle? I mean, we're smelling both of them, right? And they both should have the same effects. Well, they don't. Uh, they smell nice, but those scents are made from synthetic chemicals that simply, that can simply be labeled as fragrance. And we were talking about knowing and reading our labels, fragrance, and fragrances um, are, can hide all sorts of other ingredients. Um, and like I was saying, they can be rated up there with cigarette smoke for allergens. Candles actually reduce the quality of the air. Uh, some of them contain paraffin 
um, and it's it, which paraffin is actually a petroleum by byproduct. The American Lung Association warns that when burned, these candles release carcinogenic chemicals into the air. These chemicals emitted by some candles, especially heavily scented ones, are similar to the fumes from car exhaust. I don't know about you, but I don't really love the smell of car exhaust. So, um, so I loved burning candles, uh, but I thought, okay, so I can't burn candles anymore. Am I doomed to have this, you know, stinky, stale smelling house? Um, but that's but we have a solution. Uh, we can diffuse our Young Living essential oils and the benefits of diffusing far outweigh candles. It cleans the air of airborne pathogens, reducing bacteria, fungus, mold, and odors. It can support our immune system. Um, so if your kiddos are not feeling great, you can be diffusing and supporting their immune systems while making your home smell great. It supports respiratory function. Essential oils are amazing for breathing and clear breathing. Um, it increases oxygen availability in the air. Um, I don't know if you've read anything about oxygen, but it's great for our health and it's great to be breathing. And the more oxygen saturation that we have in our bodies, the health, healthier we are. Um, and it can increase the, ab the body's ability to transport oxygen and nutrients to the cells. Plus, the bonus is it's enhancing the mood of your home and uplifting spirits. So candles never did that for my home. Uh, if my kids were grumpy or I was grumpy or struggling with emotions, um, I was not burning a candle and making that better. So I love that that can also help support our emotions. And as we are going to be doing more at-home learning, uh, diffusing essential oils can actually help with concentration and mental clarity, which moms and students will need all the mental clarity and uh, concentration that we can get. Um, so I have a few recipes that I really love to diffuse in our home. Um, I love diffusing citrus fresh and peppermint. It smells very, uh, just citrusy and pepperminty, and it's very energizing and just uh, brightens the mood. I love diffusing for sleep, uh, lavender and frankincense. They're very calming. Um, and then if I just want to unwind at the end of the day, uh, stress away is definitely one that I will be putting in the diffuser, um, especially if we've had a long day of trying to do at home school. <laughs> so so those are some great options uh, to ditch and switch the candles out of our home. Love that. I love <clears throat> the stress away. It is like heaven. It's like heaven in the diffuser. So, okay, I'm gonna talk to you um, kind of about us ladies, but serums, lotions, and perfumes, okay? So and I'm, I shared about how, you know, we use all of these products before we head out the door in the morning. Well, the average woman puts 515 synthetic chemicals on her skin every day, which are absorbed by the body. So um, don't want those. Many of those are endocrine disruptors and endocrine disruptors go in and they, they mess up our endocrine system, which is what um, helps your body produce hormones that are regulated and normal. Um, one of the, th the one of the things that I feel, you know, is rampant right now because you know our girls are, you know, starting you know menstruation earlier and earlier. I mean, it's they we are bombarding our bodies with all of these um, chemicals that it's wreaking havoc. So, one of the things that I love is doing a DIY. So I have this little bottle here, and you can make all kinds of DIY serums for your skin, okay? This one here, um, you can just have a two ounce, and this is a, I think, 10 ounce or five, or not 10 ounce, five, five ounce. It doesn't matter what size of bottle that you have. This just has um, a little dropper on it, but you don't have to have a dropper. You could just have any kind of bottle that you have. Um, but you take this, you can put in, some frankincense. Okay, we know frankincense is amazing. Well, maybe you don't know. Frankincense is amazing for your skin. 
and all the wrinkles around it. It's very earthy scent too. So not only are you putting something on your face that's going to be good for your skin, but you're also going to be inhaling that and it's very grounding and very soothing. So frankincense is a great one. You can also then add a few drops of lavender. So this one is a two ounce um, bottle and you add 10 drops of frank, um, eight drops of lavender. So lavender we call the Swiss army knife. It is so good for all kind of things for skin. If you get cuts or scrapes or bug bite, lavender is wonderful. So combine that with your frankincense. And then another oil, I didn't grab it here real quick, but is copaiba, which is another one, earthy, woodsy um, smell, which is great for kind of calming down your skin. And so making a serum like that, you can um, top the bottle with some jojoba oil um, and you can just grab an organic one. I buy mine on Amazon, just top it. And then you can apply it to your face nightly before you go to bed. So that one is super easy um, to do. And you could do some other ones. Um, I know people that have even used Valor from the starter kit here. We're going to be, we're using a lot of this stuff tonight from this, um, the starter kit that Young Living has. And so frankincense and lavender is in there. Um, the oils that Hillary just mentioned diffusing, they all come in the starter kit. And then Valor is another one that is great for your skin too. So, so lotions, um, there's lots of DIY lotion recipes that you can make, but honestly, my favorite lotion is Young Living's Lavender Hand and Body Lotion. And so this one is so good. Um, I just have an extra pump that I put on the top of this, makes it really easy. I keep it by my kitchen sink. I also have one in my bathroom, so I can just pump it and then rub it on my hands or my body, wherever. We also have a Genesis lotion, which is a very mild scent. And so it's great for the guys in your life who don't want to smell all fluffy and, and lavendery. Um, and then there's another lotion, which is Sensation. And we're not going to talk about that tonight, but that is a great one um, for being a little bit more florally. So, so one of the, the other things I'm going to talk about is perfumes, because this was an area that I really struggled with because I had kind of my, my scent, right? I mean, I mean, that was me. I had a certain perfume that I used for a long time. And after I began, um, Kind of diving in to Young Living and the community that was, you know, at hand, and I was learning so much about different aspects of my health and what I could be doing to live better. One of the things that I needed to get rid of was perfume because perfume and cologne, they are all typically made with synthetic fragrance or synthetic chemicals from a laboratory. So we're putting that on our skin. And I'm like, wait a minute, say time out. Something is not right with this picture, right? So, so the term fragrance on labels can be a combination of over 300 harmful chemicals that the company doesn't have to disclose. There is an epic um, documentary on Netflix called Stink. If you haven't watched that, I encourage you to watch it because it dives into this topic of this word fragrance and that they don't have to put any of the ingredients because if they all think their fragrance is their proprietary you know, recipe. So they don't have to share the stuff that is in some of the, the uh, items that we are using and purchasing. So um, I ditched my perfume, gave it up, and now I can create my own perfume. So you can easily create perfume using a roller bottle. So this is just an empty roller bottle that has a top top on it here. You can take this off. You can take this little roller off, and then you can decide what kind of perfume you want. So um, there's a couple that I'll give you as a suggestion. So if you're wanting something kind of nice and relaxing, calming, you can take some lavender, frankincense, and orange. Okay, orange, super uplifting. It gives it just a little hint of, you know, something a little bit different. Those combined in a roller bottle, and then you can easily roll it on. Um, it's going to smell amazing. Another one you could use is lavender with stress away 
and then Valor. I'm going to tell you guys, if you mix up that, this Valor, I just put some on here. I'm going to put some more on. I put some on um, while Hillary was talking a minute ago because I absolutely love this. And so when you can combine that with lavender and stress away in a little roller bottle, um, it's amazing. So you can easily keep something like this in your purse. So you're kind of like being able to be fresh all the time, right? I love it. Um, but, uh, nighttime sprays too. This wasn't on my notes, but I had another little bottle here. You can easily mix up a little spray with some purified water and some lavender, shake it up and put it by your kid's bed and they can spray their bed before they go to sleep because it's not going to harm them. And it gives them some, some ownership into getting that ready. So I love that. Another thing I wanted to touch on was hand sanitizer because right now, you know, and for the last four or five months, that's what we have just been using a lot of. Washing your hands is great. That's what we want to be doing, but it's not always practical. Well, a lot of hand purifiers, hand sanitizers that you can purchase at the drugstore have triclosan in them. And that is not something that you need to have in your hand sanitizer in order to effectively sanitize your hands. So Young Living has thieves. Okay. Notice a, a theme here with thieves. Um, they have a hand sanitizer that is kills 99.9% .9 of germs on contact. And so this is what we use instead of purchasing other ones from, from the drugstore or grocery store that are filled with a lot of things that we just don't need. And last but not least, and I'm going to throw it back to Hillary is I got to be thinking about um, bath bombs. I, I like to take a bath and I used to buy bath bombs from different companies that were colored and I began reading the ingredients that these bath bombs were made from and I'm like, what? I'm going to go soak in a bathtub for 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes longer, just allowing this to go in and so it was not good. So I encourage you, so one thing that you can do which is super simple is just keep some Epsom salt on hand, and then you can go ahead and add any essential oil to that. I like to add six to 12 drops. Um, fa favorites are lavender, a little bit of Frank, Stress Away, The Valor, Peace and Calming. Really, you can choose whatever you want, and then you get to put that in your bathtub, and it will be good for you because Epsom salt has magnesium, which is really relaxing and calming, so you're getting benefit. But Young Living actually did come out with some bath bombs. This is the bag, you get four in it, and here they are, it's big. I cut it in half, and I use half of it at a time when I'm ready to just go relax in there. But I would encourage you, ditch the bath bombs that are full of all of the artificial colors and whatever else, because you don't wanna be sitting in that. It's like a cocktail concoction of chemicals, and we, we don't want that for you, so. <laughs> Okay. okay, one thing that I love in the bath with Epsom salts, Panaway and Raven. So Panaway is just super relaxing to the muscles. And then Raven just like creates this like spa experience and just opens all those airways. Oh, just amazing, amazing. Okay, so we are going to touch on your laundry room. Uh, this is another area that I highly suggest uh, taking a look at first. There's some super easy, affordable swaps. Um, I don't know if you know, but fabric softeners and dryer sheets are probably one of the most toxic things in your home. I was really shocked when I read that. I thought, how is this, you know, little dryer sheet or this little thing that I'm adding to my laundry, how is that so toxic? But they just contain a ton of toxic chemicals that are not good for our bodies. And think about it. We all wear clothes, I hope, <laughs> mostly, and they're on our bodies, on our skin every single day, and we're breathing them. They're emitting the things that we clean them with, and so that is also going into our air, and then if we're drying things, it's being released out of our dryer, and so um, it was one of the first things that I totally switched and ditched. Now I will say it did take a little bit of a transition. I felt like my laundry needed time to kind of 
release some of those, you know, chemicals and the soaps and the toxins, but trust me, stick with it because I feel like the more you use more natural products in your laundry, the softer it's going to become. Um, and a lot of those harsh chemicals are kind of what's making your clothes so like stiff and unhappy. So just stick with it. So, um, I can't even pronounce some of these, but it contains benzyl alcohol. This is in fabric softener, and that acts as a respiratory tract irritant and can cause asthma in children. So if you have kiddos or you yourself struggle with that, you really want to take a look at this. Um, chloroform, <laughs> right? Why is that even in there? It's a known carcinogen, and we know carcinogens cause cancer. No, thank you. I can't even pronounce this methyl blah. Guys, if you can't pronounce it and spit it out, you probably shouldn't be using it. Can we just say that? Um, it causes skin irritation, glut dihyde, causes allergic skin reactions and asthma, and it's very toxic to marine life. So if our water is going into our water supply, we are not only polluting ourselves, we are polluting our uh, wildlife and marine life. Artificial colors, we know we want to stay away from those. And then fragrances, those fragrances, and we talked about that already. And then our dryer sheets, there's more. There's alpha terpeneol, which can cause headaches, loss of muscular control, central nervous system and respiratory problems. Uh, benzyl acetate is linked to pancreatic cancer, uh, all sorts of things. Biodegradable cat cationic softeners. They make clothes soft and fluffy, um, but they build up in our body over time and can cause central nervous system damage. It makes me think of that little like fluffy bear that was always falling into the laundry. And I'm like, you know, I think I'll skip all that. Like whatever that is, I don't need it. It's actually not that, you know, happy and safe. Um, and that is all that marketing. It, it just gets us right. We think, oh, we want our family to have nice soft, you know, lovely laundry, but at what cost? And we don't have to buy all those toxic chemicals to have soft, good smelling laundry. So, um, so that is just a hot mess of chemicals that is just not worth it. But the guys, there's an easy solution. There's this, this is a dryer ball. I know it's so funny. When I first started using them, I felt like my dryers sound like a drum line. But the cool thing is, is not only are these going to save, um, you know, be ditching the toxins, but they actually save money and energy because our dryer, our, um, our clothes are going to dry a lot faster. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to add a half a cup of white vinegar to the rinse cycle of your washer. That's going to help release all that extra soap and build up out of our laundry and soften it. And then you're going to add these wool dryer balls. And I know you're thinking, I need all those scents. I want it to smell good. Well, you're in luck. Citrus Fresh, you put a few drops on your dryer ball. These are just made from organic wool. And then um, you pop them in the dryer and it's gonna make it smell really good. I love Citrus Fresh. I love using lavender on like my linens and my sheets and my pillows and my towels. And then sometimes I love to add stress away because I feel like it just makes my uh, bedding feel like a vacation even if I can't go take one right now. So stress away is like a vacation in a bottle on your wool dryer balls. Um, so I love that those are just super easy ways to swap out the toxins. The other thing is you can actually take um, Thieves Household Cleaner because the one thing that I was like, okay, what about pre-treating and stains and you know, making sure that my laundry is still getting clean? Um, you can take the Thieves Household Cleaner. I love adding a few drops of lemon. And then sometimes I'll even add like the Thieves dish soap or whatever. But um, And you can pre-treat your laundry naturally as well. And we also um, have a laundry soap. And there are hacks where you can dilute it. And it's cheaper than anything that you will ever buy in the store. Plus, if you're ordering on Essential Rewards, you can be earning up to like 25% cash back, which is amazing. So moms, I know if you're out there, you're doing a ton of laundry and I got you covered. <laughs> yeah, you are doing a lot of laundry, Hillary. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about sleep support because um, it's a good day when everybody gets good sleep, right? So we want to make sure that sleep is happening in the house, not only for the little ones, but also for the big people. Because did you know our body 
heals itself during the sleep cycle. So it's really important that we are getting good sleep. So I talked a little bit already about whoops, mixing up a little sleep spray with some lavender so you can easily do that. Um, I love using oils in the diffuser. You can see my diffuser right back there in the corner. Having a diffuser by your bed and diffusing at bedtime. I like to start the diffuser about 30 minutes before I hit the hay. Um, it's amazing. So um, great ones for sleep. We've touched on with our lavender, stress away, um, a little frankincense, um, peace and calming, all so good. You can even take and make a little roller bottle that you would apply oils that are sleep oils. You could do that same same way that I made kind of my perfume roller blend. You could do that. Another one, which is a kind of a, like a little hidden gem. People forget about this, but Young Living has supplements too. So we're not, we didn't talk a lot about them tonight, but this is another area you could ditch and switch. So we have a supplement called ImmuPro. So it has some essential oils and it. it has some other ingredients and it has a small amount of melatonin. It has zinc, selenium, calcium, copper in it. So it's got some other good stuff. This is amazing for sleep and you can use it for little kids as well. So you can take, it comes in a chewable little tablet and you can cut it in half and give it to young people, the little ones. So I'm trying to think at what age that I started giving ImmuPro, I think probably for um, a half of a cap or half of a tablet for um, my little guy. So um, so yeah, ImmuPro is a great one. And if you are traveling and you, um, like for me, when I travel out of town, I tend to have trouble sleeping. You, I always want to have some ImmuPro along with me because that will help kind of just relax me a little bit and take me into that. So I think Hillary's going to touch on like, some digestive support. I hope you don't really need it, but we know that things always happen. So then that will be come in handy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, one thing that I really learned about when we were, you know, ditching and switching is just more about like our inside health and our internal health and how important gut health is to our, you know, our skin health, our immune health. And so I love that we can use oils to support our digestive health. Um, one of my two favorites to combine together are peppermint and digize. Now digize is one that you're going to open. You're going to be like, Hillary, that does not smell good. Um, I get it, but I love this oil because of what it does for my body. It is like my stomach's BFF. I can't tell you how quickly I have found relief from all things stomach issue from Digize. And I love to combine it with a little bit of peppermint if I'm rolling it on my stomach. Um, it kind of just helps to mellow out that Digize smell, but also peppermint is very supporting to the digestive system of what as well. Now, if you do not like rolling this one on, you do not like the smell, you can actually take little veggie capsules. They're just clear little veggie capsules. You can actually get them on Young Living and um, you just put a few drops of the oil, fill it with carriol and just take it with water and you're good to go and you won't have to smell ever again, I promise. But it will do amazing things for your digestive system. Um, I think like 70 to 80% of our immune health is found in our gut. It helps regulate our hormones. It helps regulate our body. So it's really important to be focusing on taking good care of our gut health. Um, I mentioned in the beginning that one of the things I was really shocked about was um, I scanned my baby wipes to see like just what was in them. I looked up the ingredients and I found that they actually contained carcinogens. And I'm like, how in the world can you put those kind of things in products for babies? Um, so I love that Young Living, this is kind of outside of the starter kit, but I love Young Living has like a whole seedlings line to help um, just ditch and switch some of those things and to be using more natural products on our little ones as well. Um, but I have a little secret. You can use these a couple other different ways as well. They smell really good. They smell like just lavender and other good essential oils. Um, you can take one of these and you can pop it in your dryer as like a natural dryer sheet or you can totally use it as a, like a makeup wipes. I'm not going to take my makeup off right now, but I love when I'm just like totally done. I don't feel like washing my face and I can just like use one of these at night and it's super fast. 
and I'm not using, you know, makeup wipes that have a bunch of um, ingredients I don't want to be using. And then the other thing that I love sometimes, I actually use the seedlings lotion on my face sometimes at night, um, but this is amazing for babies as well. So I was just, it was one of those things that I was really surprised like how many um, ingredients in my kids and baby products I needed to be ditching and switching as well. And I love that Young Living is like this one-stop shop um, to provide all those alternative products for us. Right. That's so good. I love, I, I'm glad that you mentioned the, <clears throat> the baby wipes because, um, somebody was just talking about that today as using them for dryer sheets. So it's a great alternative. So, all right. So if you are watching and you're not already a young living member, you're probably like, okay, this looked good. I want this, this is good. And so the best thing is young living has put together a starter kit of the most popular oils. It's like, it's the perfect way to get started. So many of the things that we <clears throat> talked about tonight are in the starter kit. So you've got these oils right here. We talked about many of them, lavender, lemon. Um, we didn't even talk about thieves and that that's a whole class on its own. We talked about the thieves cleaner and that kind of stuff, but peppermint, diegize, raven, panaway, citrus rest, frankincense, valor. Not only do you get those, but you get our famous stress away that we did talk about and another one, peace and calming. So you get all of those oils and then you get some other goodies in this starter kit. Two packets of Ningxia Red, didn't even talk about that, but it's an amazing antioxidant um, drink that tastes really good and it helps your body operate in the, in the best way that it can. It's amazing. You get a Thieves um, hand purifier, hand sanitizer. Then you get this little thieves spray, which is another great one to have on hand. And you get um, two little roller toppers that go on your bottles of oil. So it's great, a great kit, a great way to get started. Um, and then what's even better is when you grab your starter kit, you automatically get 24% off of all of the other products that Young Living has. So talking about like the Thieves Cleaner or the Baby Wipes or getting some lotion, you get 24% off of those as a wholesale member. So it's a great way um, to do that. And there's no strings attached. You are not obligated to purchase anything more. Um, it's it's just the best way to get started. And I'm grateful that Young Living has that. And then, oh, by the way, I almost forgot. You get a diffuser. My favorite diffuser to start with is the Desert Mist, which is right over there. It's beautiful. It has a long run time. It's super easy to fill. Um, it has um, uh, two different options for diffusing. It can be straight or intermittent and it changes colors. So it will flicker kind of like those candles that you may miss after you realize that they're not really ones that you want to do. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. So that starter kit is $165 <clears throat> and it is over 50% off of the um, retail price of all of these products. So like I said, it is the best way to get started. So if, <clears throat> if that is something that you want to save up for, I highly encourage you to save up for that. I know many people that have taken a little bit of their budget every month to be able to accumulate it to get to the 165 so that they could get the starter kit because then you have this great big toolbox to really implement in your home, which is amazing. So, and I know Hillary's now gonna talk about our, one of my favorite pieces of Young Living is the Essential Rewards Program because it is the best way for you to start replacing some of those things and really dishing and switching beyond the starter kit. Yes, I feel like the starter kit is like the gateway into this like amazing new lifestyle. It's like the gateway into Young Living. Um, when I first started with Young Living, I thought, oh, it's just oils, but oh my goodness, Young Living is so much more than just oils. I think we have like over 600. My cleaner, my shampoo, my conditioner, my kids stuff, like everything. And it just shows up magically every single month on my front door. And I'm not having to run out to the store, especially right now. I love that it all just comes straight to me. Um, so it's totally free to join. 
Uh, there's no additional cost whatsoever. You get rewarded, which I love. Target does not pay me 10 to 25% back to shop there at all. Um, so when you first start, you earn 10% and then you work your way up to 25% back. You get monthly freebies. So every month there's promos and freebies that you get just magically added into your box. And when you open it, you're like, oh, thank you, Young Living. Um, and you get to restock on products every single month. I love that it is something that helps our family to make sure that we're making those good decisions every single month and it i don't have to think about it it just shows up and comes to my door and then i love that there's also additional kits that have some extra savings that you can add in as well especially the thieves essential rewards kit i think it's a savings of like 35 extra dollars when you buy that bundle and then guys you're earning that extra cash back on top of that so it is such a great deal i think most of my members after they get their oils kit i tell them go get the healthy thieves home bundle and it will just help you to ditch and switch a ton of things all at once so i love that um so yeah, so we are so glad that you guys joined us for this class and we hope that your eyes have been opened and maybe you've learned some new things. Maybe you'll start looking at your products differently and um, yeah. Perfect. Yes, thanks. Thanks, Hillary, for joining me tonight. Thank you. I hope you all learned a little something and um, if you were invited to um, watch the class, make sure you reach out to the person that invited you because they are going to be the one that gets to link arms with you and walk into Young Living with you and be the support and, and help you along the path. And it's also a bonus because we have a great community of people. Um, we have an awesome Facebook community and we do regular classes. So it helps you kind of learn a little bit at a time, which is great. So all right, everybody. Thanks so much. Thanks again, Hillary, and we'll see you later.